any good or great pianist certainly thinks in terms of instrumental colors at the instrument. Um, whether you're trying to show how a violin would play expressively a singer always. Um, at the harpsichord too, we do think this way. So not just to have beautiful music played on the, on the keyboards, but music which imitates or evokes an orchestral style. A wonderful example is the Italian concerto of Bach. And Bach actually takes the pains to write piano and forte in the score, very unusual for him. We know that the work was composed for a two keyboard harpsichord specifically. He says so on the title page uh, of the published work. And it's very uh, fun and interesting to see how Bach will write the forte for what should be the full orchestral sound. So I'm going to begin the piece. When he now wants to go into the passage of music where there will be a solo instrument against an accompaniment, he uses the louder lower keyboard to represent the sound of the solo instrument. Maybe it's an oboe, maybe a violin, I would like to think an oboe. And the left hand now will be the small group of instruments accompanying. And perhaps even more clearly, in the second movement of the same work, we have a consistent texture throughout, that of three voices. The soprano voice is the solo, and certainly intended to evoke a very expressive oboe solo. There is much in that, uh, in the writing, to uh, link it to other similar works of Bach. The other two voices play an accompanying role. Perhaps cello in the lowest voice, perhaps viola in the middle voice. With the same piece, when played at the piano, we can already use the two extreme pedals, the sustaining pedal, the una corda, to create the effect of these accompanying voices. I'm bringing out a bit more of what I would call the viola voice, so the middle voice of the texture. and then dynamically the soprano. Etc. So at the piano, of course, I'm not as worried or concerned about the articulation of the right hand, more about the shape, the dynamic, the phrasing. <laughs> 